Hello everybody and welcome to Journey Through Kresge, a choose your own adventure tour. Right now we're at our first stop, the Porter Squiggle. We are doing this tour, but you, the viewers, are the ones who decided where we're going, what we're going to talk about, and what we're doing. Without further ado, let's get this started. Alrighty, welcome to our second stop, the Porter Koi Pond. This is a great spot in Porter College if you just want to hang out to study, hang out with your friends and talk, or just to watch the fish. One of my favorite things to do is just sit here for a couple minutes, watching them swim around, and just enjoy my day. Alright, so here we are at our third stop, the Porter Kresge Dining Hall. UCSC has a total of five dining halls, one for each sister college. Now for dining meal options, we have the seven day, which is most common for the residence halls. That one has unlimited meals, seven days a week. You can go as many times as you want, um, buffet style. The second one is the five day meal plan. So Monday through Friday, same unlimited buffet style. And then we also have what's called slug club meals. Um, you can just buy a number of meals for each quarter. They do carry over until the end of the academic year. And you can just go in whenever you want and eat also buffet style. I actually used to work at 910 Dining Hall. I was a student supervisor, so that was really fun. So here we are at our first chosen stop, chosen by you, the viewers. And the winner between the Provost House and the apartments is... The Porter Apartments. apartments these are mainly for second years and up they are some of the only two-story apartments on campus which is super cool I really enjoy the poor apartments because they've helped me make a lot of my close friends that I have today and then if we transition right over here we have our eye lounge which is where we host some of our events for Kresge um, it's a really neat space to just come and hang out and chill they also have a kitchen in here a bathroom so if you're, say, in the res halls, you can come here and use those spaces in those facilities. Okay, everybody, welcome to the JK Building. This is part of Kresge College, which means we finally made it to Kresge. On this building, we have the housing office. So if you have a lockout or just want to return your keys if you're moving out at the end of the year, this is where you would go. And building K is just residential. J also has residential, but one entire floor is dedicated solely to the housing office, which in my opinion is really cool. My second year, I lived in building K, and that was amazing. Every apartment has exactly three people in it. The living room is really big, and it has windows on an entire wall, so you have a beautiful view out to the forest or to the Porter Meadow in the back. All right, everybody, we're back with another one of your choices. The choice here was which did you want to see first? The garden or the Kresge Provost House? And you chose the garden. Welcome to the Kresge Garden Co-op. It's actually way down there in a little smaller meadow before you get to the Porter Meadow, so follow me. Kresge Garden Co-op. Here we grow a bunch of different crops and it's just kind of a volunteer thing. It's one of our co-ops here at Kresge. Another one is the Natural Foods Co-op which is behind Building 10. And here we have a shed. We have lots of cute little signs and a beautiful entrance gate. Welcome to the Kresge Provost House. The best way to explain what a provost is, is to think of them kind of like a principal of the college, except 
they're not a principal and they're kind of just overseeing our core class. So here at UCSC, every college has a core class and its own theme that they delve into in the class. And here at Kresge, our theme is power and representation. So our provost here at Kresge is Ben Leeds Carson. He actually teaches here at the school as well, and he is into music. So if you are at Kresge and you like music, I'm sure he'll be more than happy to talk to you about either. Here we have another one of your choices. Our choices this time are the Kresge Student Lounge and the Kresge Piazzetta. And the option that you chose to see first was the Student Lounge. Welcome to the Kresge Student Lounge. This is a fun, chill space where you can just hang out with your friends. There's lots of couches, there's usually some literature, like student magazines that are just laying around there. And upstairs, we have resources for houseless students, such as a kitchen, a restroom, and just a place to rest and kind of just relax and wind down. Fun fact about the student lounge, this is actually where a lot of organizations meet, such as Kresge Parliament, which I myself happen to be a member of. Welcome to the Piazzetta. One of our hubs here at Kresge College where students can just hang out or take advantage of the multiple resources we have here. Behind me, we have the mail room, the college advising office, STARS, which is services for transfers and re-entry students, as well as the Common Ground Center office. To my left, we have seminar room 159, a few public restrooms available to the students, as well as our Kresge photo co-op. Now in your typical day at Kresge, it's not unusual to see a few students here just reading a book or maybe even just eating a snack, enjoying the scenery. All right, so for your next choice, you guys have the option of the balcony to the apartment or the street to lower street. And you guys chose the balcony. So here we are on the balcony of R2, which you guys chose. Um, all of Lower Street apartments are apartments, and then the ones on Upper Street are actually called suites. So those have a little bit more room, but the apartments are still pretty cool too. Um, when I was a first year, I lived over at R1, and that was super, super great, and I made some of my closest friends to this day. Um, I guess one of my favorite memories was that one of the first days we moved in, we saw a video about someone taping someone else to a wall <laughs> and so we ended up taping one of my housemates to a wall. It wasn't very successful but we really bonded over that so that was super fun. Um, the environment here is super friendly. Everyone always got an open door um, and it's really really easy to make friends so I hope you guys Eventually, when you guys come back, you have as much fun as I did my first and second year over at Kresge. Um, so here we are, coming up to Lower Street. As you can see behind me, or right over here, that's our computer lab. And then if we pan out over here to our 11, we have our programs office, which is 11, 11 and 11, 12. It also serves as a study center, and it's just a really super chill space to hang out with friends and just catch up on some homework or study for midterms. They're also open 24 hours a day, so if you wanted to just pull an all-nighter here and just get all your work done, it's a super chill place to do it. Alright everybody, we're at your last choice, which was between Upper Street or the secret path behind building eight. And the winner by a landslide was 
Welcome to the secret path behind R8. So the thing about this path, it's a great place if you're in a rush and you want to get straight from the Kresge Bridge to the Riding Center, which then takes you to the rest of Kresge. Um, or if you just want to have a great view of the forest, you have a ravine named Star Wars, super fun name. And you also have this amazing orange wall that actually is meant to mimic the bark of the redwood trees here. And it's just a great little spot. It has a lot of shade if it's a hot day and you want to get out of the sun for a second. A fun fact about this path, I actually saw a snake here once. It was a little baby snake like this big, curled up in a circle, just taking a little nap. And that's something that I think about every time I walk here. Okay, everybody, we've reached the end of the tour. This is our last stop, which is one of the construction sites for the Kresge Renewal Project. This site is the one on Upper Street where previously Building 7 as well as Town Hall along with the program's office, Music Co-op, and Owl's Nest, our old cafe, all used to be located. It is now cleared as you can see as they're getting ready to begin building the new academic center. It's going to be super big and have lots of classrooms and they're going to have a great view of the forest and ravine. We are also getting new dorm buildings for first year students that are going to add hundreds of new beds available to help try to combat the housing crisis in Santa Cruz. Thank you for joining us for this virtual tour. For reference, I'm standing on the Kresge Bridge. I hope you guys found it very informative and very fun since you guys got to choose where we went. And if you guys have any further questions or anything else you want to talk about about Kresge, feel free to hit up any one of your orientation leaders and we'll be super happy to help you. Thanks for joining us.